Hello, I'm Mike of Neil Up Dice, and this is 3D Sunshine. What is 3D Sunshine, you may ask yourself? Well, it is essentially a hmm, modeling program, level creating program. Um, currently, it's, it's definitely for Minecraft. You can do stuff in Minecraft. Um, but it looks like they're, they're aiming to, to maybe add uh, other options later on. So I'm going to start with the tutorial. Uh, snap and grab. Grab and snap. All right, so we're going to pull the trigger button to begin. Put your pointer tip in the block. There you go. And so we, we can now pick things up. Uh, grab the block with each hand. Stick the blocks together and they will snap. But I have to release the trigger on one of them uh, to do that. All right. Uh, here's some more blocks. Block library. Look to your left block library. Playing, have fun. So I can actually grab this and move it around, which is nice. There are buttons which are used. I use the trigger for. So I can just swap through those. Don't know what it says M on it. I don't know what that's. For. Don't know what that's for. And so I can attach things. Da, da, da. All sorts of stuff. So, yeah, obviously this is currently set up for, for Minecraft. Uh, menu button. So, menu button for two. That's the menu button. So, I'm going to the next tutorial. So, let's load tutorial two. And then things blanked out. Uh, swap tools and draw lines. Press either trigger button to begin. Boom. Your hand is in grab uh, grip mode. Place your point in the block. Press trigger to pick it up. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, so we've done that, right? Add another tool to my toolbox. Now I've got a toolbox. I to get I had the, the block library, but now now I've also got a toolbox which I can move around. Uh, so I can click on the line mode, and I can do for each one. So um, I can go to line on either of them. I can go line and grab. So this one grabs and this one does lines. Place your point in the block, click and hold down the trigger, and move your hand. So to draw lines in line mode, that's what I do. So I go, oh, I see how we are. Oh, I can go, I can do like this. Okay. So I can do lines all over the place. Like that. I can use different blocks as well. Although I see, it seems that I need to bring them out. They're like, whoop. Uh, uh, uh. Now, I happen to know, like, to, 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 so I can draw lines like this. And then physics makes it happen so it can, it can follow them. So then I can grab and then attach it like that. And now I've got a thing. And then I can draw in a different set of materials. Uh, let's try wool. So in this case, if when I did line, I would just have one single line. Now I've got a whole wall doing that. So I can I can build walls very quickly. There you go. Now I'm going to grab group. So I can grab with this button. I can move the whole thing around. Make walls, draw complex structures. Oh, and I can... <laughs> I can drop it like that. Uh, okay, so let's move. Let's move on. Draw and delete. Uh, I'm going to draw blocks in free space. How to delete blocks quickly? Press either trigger button to begin. Book. Added draw block to your uh, toolbox. Click on draw block. Which we'll do because I'm left-handed. Bonk. Place point block. Click on. This is essentially just. This is a quick redo of. The last thing we did. Pretty easy. Delete block works the same way. Switch the... <laughs> Move that out of the way. Are you falling over? Is that... Are you right? So, all right. Oh. Place point, click, hold down the trigger, and move your hand. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Volume delete. Go for deleting hold time blocks. Press the trigger to continue. To start a volume duration, bring your pointers to go until they turn yellow. Bring and turn. Click and hold with the hand holding your pointer. Move your hands apart. Oh, okay. Create huge deletion volume to continue. Okay. 
So there you go. Boom. Now you're going to delete and volume delete all these blocks using volume delete. So, duh, uh, oh, missed. Didn't quite get the one there. <laughs> oh, failure. There you go. Here's a box. Keep playing around with the draw and delete tools. Press. So there you go. So there's um, grab draw. So I can just draw. Just draw around, and then oh, with the delete, I need to go to the delete tool, and then delete them all. Like that. That's rather swish. So let's move on. Groups. Let's learn about groups. This will drastically improve your ability to build. Press I, the trigger button, to begin a whole storm of menus. Boop. Grab group, picks up groups. Woo. Wait. Oh, missed. Hold on. Um, so this is grab block. And this will grab a single block off the thing. Oops. So block so everything works in blocks and groups, which I saw before I clicked the, the trigger immediately moving it on. So block and line. Draw a line with blocks. Uh, line. Groups of blocks. Press the trigger to continue. Click the line. There we go. Draw a line with the group. Press a point in the group. Click and hold. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, there are some possibilities with this. Oh. Delete whole groups. Draw crazy organic shapes. Uh. Right, let's grab, oh, uh, let's grab that. Uh, oh, I don't have wall. I wanted wall, but I might. Well, actually, what I could do is I could draw a line. What I'm going to do, this is, this is to make a um, a castle wall. So that's my wall. No, actually, let's, let's, let's delete. That's, that will delete the whole thing. I just want to volume delete. So I want to get rid of all of those. I want to, right. Oh, there's method to my madness. Um, I think. Yes. Yes, yes, I know what I'm doing. All I need to do is I need to find stone slabs. Slabs, where are you, slabs? There you go. I want, I want, I want bricks. I want... Oh, actually, no. Want, yeah, okay. Let's, let's do it with brick. One brick. And then I want to find stairs. Now, this could be interesting. Oh, uh, no, I just have to... Oh! I deleted it. Didn't, didn't mean to delete it. Uh, there we go. So now this is one. How with this one? I do castle crenellations. Um, I'll just move that around like this. Battlements, basically. This is the way I like making battlements. Uh, so I want to repeat that. So now I get, grab the line group. And castle wall. I'm quite pleased with that. And I can do things. Is this is this one grab right? So I could grab away. Now the problem is line. I really only want that group on its own. So that'll just do. I'll do the whole thing, which is next to not what I want. But I can work that out. Maybe like I could delete there and then uh well actually no, there are there are there are ways and means. We'll 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 work on this later. So that's a neat thing. I can just I can just uh copy and paste a whole bunch of things into I mean if I want to go completely crazy and just do a huge wall, I can now just re repeat that and now I've got a huge wall. Which I could throw around on that. Anyway, menu button when done. Tutorial 5. Inventory. Store, retrieve, duplicate parts. Press E, the trigger. 
I have made an inventory. It is storing your groups and providing you with the internal copies. Press the trigger to continue. Store this block in the inventory. Guess what? You can store anything in the inventory. Don't believe me? Press the trigger to continue. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> now inventory master sick nasty press the trigger to continue so i presume i can now bring that out well maybe maybe I'm, i presume i'll have to do it later here's a large inventory and a library uh makes a module structures so what i could do if i go find we'll look for stone bricks let's make a stone brick let's do that thing that i did before so i want that uh, where's stone brick? Have I seen that? There we go. Stone brick and stone brick stairs. So now what I can do, make that into a line, uh, and then just make another line. That's there. That there. So now I stick that there. I can now bring out infinite copies of this. Do line draw group and I can now do because now if I want to do the same thing that way I can't I'd have to use the whole uh, thing but now I can just grab that plonk that there and that doesn't actually that's not actually quite what I wanted <laughs> I can do it the other I probably want to do it the other way I probably want to make another section here and then grab them and then stick them together like that so I can now make large castle walls quickly and easily. And then, so I can make a different, what is that? I don't know that block. Um, so I can make all sorts of different things and then have a you know, inventory down there. So if, I want, if there's a gate that I keep wanting to make, I can just make a copy of it and, and stick it in wherever I wanted. That's really neat. Mini button. Grip duplicate. Made away from duplicate box and groups too fast. Press E the trigger to continue. What's your point in the group? Press and hold the grip button. Uh huh. Whether you duplicate a group or a block depends on what mode your tool is in. So if I have that in individual block mode, I can do that. And now I can do, I can do, well, I can't because it's now telling me to pull the trigger to continue. So it's disable things. Play to again. You know the routine. Have fun. That's a direct order. So let's make some grass and we'll make a line. Yep. We can draw. Do that. So I can duplicate the whole thing with the grip buttons. Like that. And then it'll go together. Or I can duplicate just an individual block. Nice, I like that. That's quite sweet. And I can still I can delete things if I want to Menu button. No tutorial seven. Navigation. Super excited to show you how to move your 3D sunshine scene. Press either trigger to continue. Here is a small scene. To move the world, press and hold the trackpad. Move your hand. Awesome. Bet you're what's next. Ooh, that's my lab. Don't don't hit that. All right, so I can move around like that. Okay. Uh, to rotate and scale, press and hold both trackpads. Bring your hands together to scale. Move your hands around to rotate. So I can I can shrink it. I can in, um, unshrink it. I can grow it. And also I can move. Oh, like that. Round and round and round and round and round. That's pretty neat. Press either trigger. That's it. NVR special. Note you can now snap things onto the design bench. Now build some cool art. Press mini button when you are done. So I could grab that. And that's now, so, so before, it wasn't, uh, right, it'll snap to the, the bench if I hold it there. But if I lifted it up, which is what I did before, if I lift it up, it'll just go any old way. If I was making this into a Minecraft world, that would not do. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Now I want to get it, I want to get it that 
there. So trackpad, trackpad, there we go. So now I can get at this. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's not attached to the rest of the tree. Those are two separate groups. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if that's because they're it's by material, by by block. That's interesting. So I can move it down with the trackpad if I want to move this stuff. But oh, I see. I can only go down so far. I can only shrink so far. I probably only grow so far. Yeah, I can only grow to that extent, which is a slightly under full scale, I think. But I can just move around and get to various places. Uh, I can grab the whole thing and then make a little one down there, which is just silly. And I can, I can, so I can shrink it way down and put it down the ground. Say, and let's pick. Let's pick. Oh, mm, love. Well, yeah, why not? This is a really dumb idea, but never mind. Um, draw. Can I do this? Yes, I can just go. Well, I, I did not realize you could do oh, this, really. And then that's it snapped. So I can do really big things. Uh, what are you? What would be fun? Let's use some. Let's do, oh. <laughs> Snap that on. There you go. And now I can just do a big thing of of of. I can go even higher if I want. Let's go. Whoomp. Make some enormous big structure. And then. If I bring it up to more or less full size, well, it's obviously out of the room. So there you go. Ha ha ha! Menu button. Is that it? Load sample world. There's another thing you can do. Um, or see, I can't remember if it's. I've seen the mention of this as a demo that you can. Uh, oh, trash bin. That's good. Glue box group wall line box draw that you can somehow uh, reverse what you've done but I don't know how to do that what are we on we're on grab let's have them so I can grab that and go draw but load world load minecraft world now I'm going to use now I happen to know um, this is um Actually, let's go back a bit. Got to quick my settings. Sound volume, that's fine. Um, this is my world that I use uh, when I play Vivecraft. And so this is going to load a section of this. It's going to take a little while. And so I'm, I'm largely going to be standing here talking while it loads up uh, because um, my game is pretty much blinking in and out of existence as far as I'm concerned because it's having a little bit of a tough time loading it up. It's, it's got a lot of stuff to do. So. so this seems to be loaded. Right, there you go. So now that's working. I can I, I can now, let's just move this out of the way. So I can, move, I can move these around, which is quite neat. So this is my uh, Minecraft world. Um, so let's have a look. Let's, let's see. Now, because obviously this isn't normally the angle I see it at. All right, yeah. So there we go. That's that's my my big tunnel. So that must be my my place in here. So trying to work out. Yeah, that's my my workbench. I'm just going to turn it. Yeah, there we go. That's this is my. Uh, portal, my, my nether portal, and so I can move in, Wait. That's just, that's, and then I can move my head into a tiny copy 
of my my living quarters. Uh, it doesn't seem to have all the textures because that's those are chests. That's uh, this is my this is my potions area. I think can't remember quite how that's set up. Uh, I can look through here down this corridor. This is my storage area or the oven. So yeah, so that's those are chests on top of hoppers into ovens. And those are, that's more chests, but interestingly, the the textures for the chests are missing, and so it's got all the other stuff that's around there. So you know, yeah, this is this is the outside area. I think my farm's over here somewhere, and you can. So theoretically, I'm not going to do this, but theoretically. I could add stuff to my world and then save it, but because this is beta software, as it said, um, I'm not going to save it. But I can, uh, I can play with it. I'm going to just move things over here for a second. I just need to quickly check how long I've been recording. I've been recording that many that long. So this is 3D Sunshine. I don't know why it's called 3D Sunshine. Um, but it is a really cool thing, and I am going to have to do some playing with it. And specifically, I'm going to have to uh, have a go at building something and then going into Vivecraft and uh, having a look. All right, there we go. So this is, this is one of the demo levels, which is... Um, Oh, this is Japanese garden demo level, which has presumably been made in 3D Sunshine. So it might be, I don't know if I'll be able to, this is a free build world. I don't know if that means I, whether it works in, in actual Minecraft or not, but it's rather pretty. So I'm going to finish off and say this is a really, really cool piece of software. And um, it's in alpha. Um, I had to send an email and get a thing uh, about it. And I'll put in a link to... Uh, oh, it's got an ocean and everything. I'll put a link to to where I found it, uh, and so you can follow along and see, you know, what's happening with it. But I think this is a really cool thing. The idea of being able to build stuff directly, you know, with my hands, um, I think is going to be a really, really cool way of of um, uh, making stuff in three D. And making stuff for for video games to be able to start do stuff directly in virtual reality, which I think is going to be really cool. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, do hit like and subscribe if you've been enjoying these videos. Come visit Neil Love Dice at neillovedice.com, and we're also available on Facebook and Twitter, and there'll be links to that in the video description. And until next time, grab a handful of ocean. <laughs> uh, may may your sunshine always be. Uh, 3D.